Hi there, Rob here again from Power Learning Solutions with another uh, set of tips on working with courses in the Canvas Learning Management System. I had a student actually who uh, was asking me about how to set up some differentiated pathways by using a quiz, uh, a pretest quiz, and then how they can use that to unlock uh, particular modules for certain groups of students. Now, from what I can see, there uh, there doesn't really seem to be a way to set it so that um, if students get a particular score, uh, only one module would unlock, but others wouldn't. But I figured out a way that you can use quizzes uh, to unlock those differentiated pathways and, and to uh, personalize the learning for students and help them advance to where they need. So I have a sample course here set up, and uh, what I have got done I'll, I'll just uh, open up the modules area. I have got a, the uh, the pretest set up here. There's four questions in the pretest. You have to complete uh, the the pretest here in order to uh, finish this module. So if I look at the module, I edit it, and I have requirements set up. You have to complete the unnamed uh, quiz with a score of at least one out of four in order to uh, to complete this module. For the first pathway here, this is for the students who score a little bit lower on the pretest. So they have to get the pretest module completed. If I look at my prerequisites for this, you have to have pretest completed in order to go on. And then in order to go on to the second pathway, they have to do the unnamed quiz again. They have to get a score of at least two out of four this time to unlock that. So they have some activities. They can take the, the quiz again. If, for instance, though, that they uh, scored a little bit higher, maybe they got uh, two out of four uh, on the pretest the first time around, it would actually unlock both pathway one and pathway two for them because it would uh, list pathway one as being completed. I have pathway two set up here that they have to have pretest and pathway one completed. And then they have to score at least three out of four on the quiz to unlock pathway three and so forth. So you're setting up a combination of prerequisites and requirements to complete that module and unlock the next one. So let's take a look at this from a student's point of view. I have the pathways here. They're, uh, they're hidden from students right now. Uh, they can see them, but they can't access them. So if I do the unnamed quiz and I take that quiz, I've got my four questions here. So is this true? I'll answer yes for this one. And then I will answer incorrectly for the rest of the questions. So I've got one out of four on this. <clears throat> my quiz is submitted. I can see what I got correct and incorrect. If I go back to the modules area, you'll now see pathway one is unlocked for me. So I can go through all the activities here. I can try the unnamed quiz again. So I'll take it again. <clears throat> At this time, I will answer correctly for three of the four questions. And that one is false. And I will answer incorrectly for that one. So now I'll submit my quiz again. I've got a three out of four for my score for this on my second attempt. If I come back to my modules area now, You'll see that pathway one, pathway two, and pathway three are now all unlocked. I got a sufficient score. I can skip pathway two this time and go right on to pathway three.